Right, so here we go. I wasn't actually expecting this. Um, I got an email back from the court, having paid my court fine. A receipt, if you like. Which is fine, for one thing, they certainly can't deny getting it in time now. Um, so I'm just going to minimise the uh, camera screen to read this email. I really don't have access to a printer at the moment. Um, so again, it's not that I'm not looking at you. I'm trying to read this email. Um, in fact, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. <laughs> I need to get the email up. Right, so that's done. There we go. Right. Confirmation of your order placed with Cambridgeshire 005 Web. Now that was the, the reference thing, if you like, to send it to the court. And it does actually come up with do not respond at justice.gsi.gov.uk. My order has been accepted. <laughs> My order. What did I order, I wonder? Um, please retain this receipt for your records. This email confirms your order placed with Cambridge 005 web. Beneficiary. Oh my God, could they be making this up more as they go along? I suspect beneficiary, again, is implying that I'm some sort of willing participant. Um, the beneficiary is the courthouse, Bridge Street, Peterborough, uh, postcodes PE11ED. So if you all want to write to them and tell them what you think about that, that's entirely up to you. Um, order date was the 27th, yes. Order reference, yes. Payment reference. Charging method visa. Sub-brand P, I don't know what that is. Status, sale. <laughs> oh. And that's, I kid you not, guys. Um, perhaps a lot of people have made payments have never looked at that. I'm not quite sure. That just <laughs> confirms that this, this is all private limited company. This is, I'm supposed to have bought something, apparently, for paying that court fine. It's incredible. So that, I mean, that to me just confirms this is all private limited company. And it's all supposed to be willingly turning up in court. But of course, this isn't happening now because more and more people are realizing what's going on. So, of course, people have been frog marched into court, so it's not willingly at all. Um, and, of course, once you're in the court, you have to have a, an argument with six security guards if you want to get back out again, because they lock you in the courtroom. Mm. Uh, and as we've discussed before, you're guilty before you even turn up. So, th that's quite incredible. Um, that they're actually sending this stuff out. I don't know why more people haven't noticed this. Um... Maybe they thought they could do nothing about it. I, it's all about sharing the stuff out there, guys, getting people together, making people realise what the hell is going on here, because this is all fucking corrupt. I say it's very, very careful legal terminology. They're the beneficiary. You know, they're not the recipient or the, the payee or whatever it is. Um, or the debtor, or anything like that. There's, there's nothing there to suggest that that money has not been handed over in anything other than good faith. For a product, apparently. <laughs> so, um, if I don't receive my product by... I say the 5th of January, let's be generous. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll start having you done under trading standards laws because obviously I'm not happy with the product I've received. Thank you very much. <laughs>